They told me it would be impossible for me to achieve my dreams, but then I did. During this hard and uncertain period of time, many people have lost their jobs, lost their only source of income, and have been left to deep dive into their savings if they had me in the first place. I'd like you to picture all the millions of people across the globe who really struggled to make ends meet. All those families who could have potentially lost their home. Think of all the businesses that had to shut down during this period of time. Now more than ever, the wealth gap is growing exponentially. But I have some good news for you. We're able to come together, unite and collaborate so that we are able to make the best out of this opportunity. After all, in every downfall, there is that window of opportunity. My name is Trishwam Mansalmi, I'm 16 years old, I'm an awarded public speaker, author, coach and mentor. And my mission is to empower and educate as many young individuals as possible on the topic of financial education. Because growing up, I had a lot of health problems, asthma to be more specific. And constantly being told that you're not able to do this, especially because of the age, that was a big factor. And people were saying, oh, you're too young, or financial education is way too complicated for you to understand. I wanted to be that pioneer to show like-minded individuals that age is just a number. And that financial freedom is something that should be made accessible to everyone all around the world. The two factors that I enjoy to teach most when it comes to financial education and taking that, those steps towards financial freedom are mindset and of course freedom. As these two are so important and so pivotal in allowing you to then work towards that financial freedom and achieving that so-called success. See mindset is something that's so important. As they say your mind is a fertile ground and everything you learn is constantly building on top of that. And without the right foundation, without the right values in place, you're not able to build that village, to build that sustainable home, etc. And for instance, freedom is something that's so important because being able to be in the choice as to whether you decide to stay in, to, in that nine to five, or whether you decide to uh, maybe trade and travel the world, it then gives you the choice to be able to choose what you do on a daily basis. A misconception that both adults and kids have a lot of the time when it comes to financial education is that it's not for me, it's only for a set type of people or it's not for my age group and etc. When actually I truly disagree with this as a, once again age is just a number but then also through being able to understand financial education it then changes your mindset, your outlook, your overview on life and just how everything works as a whole. See, when you're able to understand how things work systematically and actually being able to think analytically, it then allows you to open the doors into multiple different areas of your life. And that's another reason why I believe it's a core life skill. One thing I love to share with my mentees when they're about to embark on their financial education journey is that I'd like you to think of it like a bike. And the first time you got up on that bike and started riding, at least tried to anyway, you would have got those bumps, bruises, scratches here and there. But I'd like you to remember how happy you were when you finally mastered that bike, when you were able to ride and retake those first steps on your own. You see, no one said that it would be easy, but they did say it would be worth it. I make all of these points to remind you that financial education is kid stuff. And one thing that I'd really like to challenge you guys to do and take away from this talk is the jar system. So let me break this down. We have five different jars. So we have the education, we have play, we have charity, we have spending, and lastly we have saving, saving to invest. So let's say you get pocket money or you sell things online or even for those of you who have a business. I really do implore you that you take that first step and actually start to split your money in this jar system. Now, the percentages of what will actually go into each of these jars is completely up to you. But as long as you consistently and constantly exercise that tool and getting into financial education, investing, saving, then it will then compound and pick up over time so you're able to develop these better beneficial habits. One of the jars I mentioned is charity and it's actually so important and often overlooked as the importance of constantly giving back and make sure you're investing in yourself as well as others is so important. You see it's like the law of attraction, the circle of life really, what goes around comes around 
And that's not to say you're giving so you can get. It's literally giving from a place of giving without looking for anything in return. Because when you're able to constantly pay it forward, you never know the effect that they can, that can have and really the ripple effect that that can go on to have. One thing that an entrepreneur once said, and it escapes me who said it, I'm so sorry, but they said that they only live on 20% of what they make and the other 80% goes into things like investing in charity and growth and different things like that. And I think that is so powerful because when you're able to live off of that 20% and constantly grow with that 80%, you're in that place of financial freedom and you're able to touch and inspire the lives of others. One thing I love to explore in depth with my mentees is financial freedom and actually getting clear on what financial freedom looks like for you. You see, some of you watching this may actually be financially free. Being financially free simply means that your income is higher than your expenses. That way, you're actually financially free. But I'd like you to take a second to pause, reflect and think about what financial freedom looks like for you. Does it mean bringing in 10k a month, 100k a month? What does it look like for you? When you're able to get clear on this, you have something to work towards. As they say, when your goal is specific and clear, it becomes attainable. And, there. and to any parents watching this, remember, it is never too late for you to start that journey towards financial freedom. You see, although I do target the youth and that is always, oh, I'm pushing forward, it is so important for people of all ages to actually take these first steps and embark along this journey. Being able to understand the importance of having multiple streams of income, especially now more than ever, jobs have been cut off, businesses have had to close down. And if you were to have these multiple streams of income, then you'd be able to be in a place of financial stability and working towards financial freedom. A famous quote around money is that it's the root of all evil. And I'm here today to share with you that that's not entirely true. You see, money is like a megaphone. It simply amplifies who you already are. And that's just to answer all those questions and pain desires that you parents may have around character change or values that may change in regards to your kids amassing these large sums of money at such an age. I just want to remind you that once again, money is like a megaphone. It simply amplifies who you already are. And to any parents watching this, I'd like you to think back to when you were 14, 15, or even 16, and the difference it would have made on your life, the impact it would have had if you had access to financial education and the impact that it would have had not only on you but for future generations to come. This message goes out to everyone, adults, kids, teens especially. You have the power, you're able to determine your future. You no longer have to wait for the future to come, instead you can start now. You can take those first steps towards financial freedom today. You are the author of your story. You have the power to determine what the future holds. So start today. For my closing point, I'd like to leave you with this. If grass doesn't strain to grow, then your journey to wealth shouldn't be strenuous. As achieving wealth is also a natural process. So start today. And remember that financial education is kid stuff. Thank you.